everyone, this is Glenn Elliott, and in this tutorial we're going to be going over how to handle audio with your multi-camera clips. So we have a multi-clip here. It actually has four video angles and three audio sources or audio angles as well. So we can right-click it, choose Open an Angle Editor. At the top here you're going to see the four video angles, and below you're going to see those three audio sources, so or audio angles if you will. We're going to back out of that. Now when you're editing this clip, um, oftentimes, you're not only are you going to need to switch the video angle between all four of them, but you're also going to need to switch the audio source as well, which is pretty simple. You can go ahead and just toggle audio only, and as we're playing, we can choose what source of audio we want to pull from. But it's pretty pretty rudimentary. I mean, it's just a straight cut from one audio source to the next. Oftentimes when you're doing a more complex edit, you actually need to do a mix of audio. You need to, to use like a, a, the groom source mixed with the efficient source and so on. So you need to do a mix of audio. Thankfully Final Cut Pro does have tools to give you access to all of those audio sources simultaneously. I'm going to show you that now. So I'm just going to um, undo these right here. I'm just going to highlight the multi-clip. We're going to go up into our inspector here and go to the audio tab. Once we're in the audio tab, you're going to see under channel configuration, you'll actually see all the channels that are associated with this multi-clip. So um, basically here is the first four are our video angles, and the next three are our separate audio angles, which actually correspond with uh, the clips that you saw in the angle editor. So you see the groom, officiant, and reader. And if we go back into the angle editor, you're going to see those same exact files. So basically it's listing every audio source in the channel configuration. Now, um, as you see by default, only one is checked. You do have the ability to check all of them and activate all of them. And as, as I do this, you see them light up over here in the, in the angle viewer. However, nothing changes on the timeline. In order to actually see these show up, you have to right click on your multi-clip and choose expand audio components. As soon as you do that, you'll see this tray pop open. You'll have access to all of your audio. Additionally, you can toggle on or off various channels as needed. For example, if we're going to do this edit and we don't want to deal with any of the on-camera audio, we're only going to do our mix with the three off-camera audio sources, we can simply just uncheck all of our camera audio and it'll disappear from the list and kind of call it down, make it a little bit more bearable to deal with rather than having so many tracks of audio. And likewise, if we need to add more in, we can recheck them. Now, as you notice, when you move your cursor right now, I have the normal selection tool uh, selected, as you can see, the A tool. When you hover down over top of the audio, it automatically becomes a range selection tool, which actually is very brilliant because that's the only thing you're going to be doing down here is dragging out ranges and actually ducking or raising audio to create your mix. Now once we start editing, um, I can go ahead and switch it to video only and get to a point where we want to start and say we want to start cutting from this angle here. Once we start doing our edit, and we'll just scroll forward here and say right about before the camera goes wonky, we can cut to a wide shot here and go down here and say we, uh, we cut back to this shot. And it's going. I'm not going in real time because this is actually raw footage and it plays kind of choppy, I'll show you. Cut to a wide. It gets a little choppy because it's not um, optimized media. So um, as we make a couple cuts here, we're just switching our video angle. We're set for video only up here and we're actually cutting between our, our um, video angles. We're leaving all of our audio untouched. Now even though we have our audio untouched and we've chosen specifically to cut video only, when you make a camera switch, if you look closely, I'm zooming in here, every time you make a camera switch it almost makes like a blade all the way through down to the bottom of your audio stack. So unfortunately it disrupts your audio. So say if you wanted to gradually um, reduce or increase the audio for you know in a mix, now you you have a cut here. There's a line, there's a there's a break and it's gonna really make it really tough to do your audio mix. You really need long, full, um, uninterrupted tracks to do you know, clean mixing. So I found that this unfortunately gets in the way of being able to do um, you know, some complex mixing. So I'm going to show you my method, my way of doing it. It's a little bit of a workaround, but it works um, wonderfully. So I'm going to start that now. I'm just going to go ahead and undo everything that we just did. Okay, so now we're back to where we started. Here's just a basic multi-clip with the single uh, channel selected like it was before. Uh, the first step is to right-click on the multi-clip, open in angle editor once again. 
we're gonna do our mix with just the three sources of off-camera audio. So we're gonna just click and drag a marquee and select all three of them. And now we're gonna hit Command C on the keyboard. Command C will copy it. We're gonna hit the back arrow to back into the timeline. Now we're gonna be careful to uh, move our cursor to the very beginning of the timeline because that's, that's where our audio started. So if you go back in there, you see the very first thing that started was it looks like either the groom or officiant, looks like the officiant audio was first, just to ensure that it pastes in the same location. So we move to the very beginning of the timeline, hit Command V, and it's gonna paste our audio. So now what we've, what we've done is we've gone into the angle editor, copied our audio, and then went back out and pasted it on our normal timeline. So now we have uninterrupted access to our audio sources. And now once we cut video, it will not blade through this or disrupt our audio. Now by default, when you paste this audio, it's gonna paste it into a uh, connected storyline, which I don't particularly like, but we can just pull them out of the storylines. But for right now, what we're gonna do is, uh, is hold down the command key and click the gray shelf on each of them to make sure they're all selected. Hold down the shift key when you drag them down to the bottom. I just prefer my audio, you know, traditionally is below the video. So I'm gonna hold down the shift key, which is gonna lock it in place so you can't accidentally nudge it left or right. Now right here, you see it says plus 109. It means it did move a frame or so, so we're gonna undo that. And we're gonna hold down the shift key again. Just be very careful. Make sure when you're dragging this, it says zero, zero, zero to know that you did not accidentally nudge it out of, out of uh, sync. So we're gonna drag it below the video here. Now, once we're there, they're in uh, a connected storyline, which is fine, you can edit that way. Um, or you can um, highlight them all and actually hit uh, command option up arrow to pull them out of those storylines and you just have to delete those empty storylines that are left behind. But we can go ahead and leave them there and begin our edit. So if we were only concerned with the audio off camera, we can actually just lower the audio from our um, on camera mics and just start cutting video only and do our audio mix afterwards. Or we can even just use an audio source from one of the cameras for some ambient audio as well. One last thing to keep in mind, and this is very important, the, there is no correlation to timeline cursor location once you step into the angle editor. What that means is if you move your cursor to an exact point, go ahead and go into the angle editor, that cursor is not guaranteed to be the exact same frame. For that reason, you have to be really careful about when you go in here and copy your audio and paste it back to make sure it's actually pasting in sync. Now it was easy on the previous example because our audio started first, so we just copied our audio, went to the beginning of the timeline and pasted it so it was automatically starting at the first frame because the audio started at the first frame. Now in this example, I, I doctored it a little bit just to show you an example. Um, our audio is not first, so if we went in here, copied our audio, Command C, went back out and went back to the beginning of the timeline. Now bear in mind that audio didn't start at the beginning. It started somewhere in here, but we don't know exactly where it started. So if we went back to the beginning, hit Command V, it's gonna paste and butt it up against the beginning and this is not going to be in sync. Now to get around this, once you go into your angle editor, you highlight your audio first like you need to. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna zoom in close and see what is the very first frame. And it looks like the camera one, this first camera, was, was butted up against the beginning. So what we're gonna do is hold down the command key and we're actually gonna make this part of our selection. So that's gonna be our reference as the beginning of the timeline. So now once we have that, hit command C, we're gonna copy it, we're gonna back out. Now we're gonna go to the beginning of the timeline. We're using that first camera angle that starts in the beginning as our reference. Hit command V and as you see, that that audio, I mean that video angle starting at the very first frame where we need it to be. Now obviously we don't need this video, we just brought it in there as a sync point or a reference to, to paste the audio in the correct spot. So we're gonna highlight that and delete it and then follow the rest of the directions to get these back in place, holding down shift, drag them below. Oops, as you see again, um, they moved uh, a little bit. So hold down shift to be really careful, hold down shift, then click and drag to the bottom and let go. So that's about it. Um, I just uh, wanted to show you guys a way to work with audio uh, in a way that's a lot easier to mix when you're using several sources with multi-clips. I hope this helps and I'll see you guys next time.